Rainbows aren't just formed in the sky. They can also be formed by sugar. How sugar twists light. Superposition. So firstly, if you consider this 3D diagram, where one light wave in red is oscillating horizontally, and another light wave in blue is oscillating vertically. These waves interfere with each other, forming the green wave, which is effectively the sum of the other two waves. This is called superposition. Two waves can superpose to form one wave, but one wave can also be described as the superposition of two separate waves. Light can be said to be polarised when all the photons are oscillating in the same orientation. So if we imagine two circularly polarised light waves, these interfere to form one linearly polarised light wave, as demonstrated in the diagram. Next, light passing through sugar molecules. As explained previously, a linear light wave can be expressed as the composition of two opposite circular ones. So if we look at this light wave travelling upwards, and this screw represents a sugar molecule in solution, the two circular components of the green linear light have different experiences through the spirals of the screw. The red circular light is unobstructed and passes through without problem, while the blue circular light is obstructed and has a harder time passing through, slowing it down. As a result, because it's slowed down, the blue component is shifted back. This means the two circular components interfere differently, adding up to form a linearly polarised light wave that is rotated by some amount. But in a solution, don't all the molecules arranged randomly in all directions result in no net rotation? Well, when we flip a screw upside down, we can see it still rotates in the same direction. So the rotation of each molecule adds up rather than cancels out. So the more molecules there are, either because of a high concentration or a longer distance to travel through, the larger the rotation will be. This also means that only a mirror image of the molecule would rotate it in the other direction, as can be seen from the screw. For the molecules of sugar, we call these two forms of glucose D-glucose, also known as dextrose, and L-glucose, which would rotate the light in opposite directions. Incidentally, the alternative form does not exist in nature. Therefore, rotation only exists in one direction. So what does this mean in practice? We set up a tall graduated cylinder on a clamp stand, placing a torch, green filter, and polarizing filter underneath. When a second polarizing filter is held above the empty cylinder, we can see how polarised light behaves. All the light entering the cylinder is oscillating in the same direction, and when the second filter is parallel, it can pass through, but when we make the filters perpendicular, we have a minimum as most of the light is blocked out. The light can pass through when they're parallel again, and is blocked when they're perpendicular again. We then weighed out 50 grams of sugar, dissolved it in 250 centimetres cubed of water, forming a sugar solution of 0.2 grams per centimetres cubed. We kept this aside in a beaker to then add specific volumes of the solution to the cylinder. Using the polarizing filters at each interval, we saw the minimum brightness points of light to change each time. In this way, we saw the effects of the rotation of the light as the height of the solution in the cylinder is increased and the light passes through more sugar molecules. We can see the results in these images. As more solution was added to the cylinder, we had a proportional increase in the rotation of the light. We recorded angles for each length of solution and plotted the angle against length. The gradient of this, divided by the concentration, gives the specific rotation of glucose at 25.5 degrees Celsius and with wavelength of 525 nanometers to be plus 82 degrees centimeter cubed per gram decimeter. Why does the wavelength matter? Because different wavelengths refract different amounts, which leads to our promise from the start. So there you go. Sugar can twist light to form a rainbow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs>